Hey everyone, and welcome back once again to Lockdown Cooking at Home with myself, Red Redfern, and my lovely wife behind the camera, Jane Redfern. Uh, welcome back to all of you guys that have been on before, to all the new people. Uh, hope you enjoy what we're doing here. Uh, we are still on lockdown here. We're on week three now in Spain. I don't know about the rest of the world, but anyway, uh, we are doing this to hopefully lighten your day slightly and to uh, give you some ideas for yourself and your family at home. I'm going to just get ready. Jane's going to then run through a few bits and pieces from uh, the last live and people what they've been posting and then we'll get back to doing the soups. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. I'm just going to say a few hellos before it disappears. Hi, John Redfern. Hello, their father-in-law. Uh, Ian and Jackie are watching and Helen Howard. Hi, Helen. Nice picture of Kevin. Nice legs. Um, Kevin Howard's ready. He's ready, mate. Okay, Rach is watching again. That's really nice. Hi, nice to uh, see you back on, hey, Rach. Sis. And Debbie Brown de Jong is watching. Hi, Hi Debbie. Debbie. You're back again. Mel Huggins is watching. Hi, hello, everyone. Andrew's R oh, is the wine man. <laughs> He's come to make sure you drink <laughs> hey, plenty of wine. Excellent. So, uh, Ruben's ready to make cool. his soup. Okay, okay, I'll just uh, run through talking of wine. Uh, today's wine, we've got a Pata Negra from Val de Peñas. Uh, that's the region of Spain. If you're looking at a map, it is midway, basically halfway between Granada and uh, Madrid. This is a 2010 uh, Reserva, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, it's a Tempranillo grape, so I'm just going to crack it open, just to let it breathe for about a minute before <laughs> I get on it. Oh, hi Claire, Claire's watching, Sean Horn is watching, hi Sean. Hi Sean. Debbie, Debbie's from Canada, she says she's gaining weight, aren't we all love, aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Sally Davis says hi, oh, oh, Red's cousin in Cardiff. Oh, excellent, hi hey. Sally. Hi Sally, hello, that's nice, Andrew Northcott, you get a thumbs up for that. Nigel Hayward, oh, nice, you made, you made it Nigel, well done. Uh, I just want to say a few things while Red's opening that. Um, do you know we've gone up 200 members over the weekend, so we're now sitting around 1,200 and some. Okay, keep inviting your friends, share it um, if you're enjoying the um, class. Yes, Hi, Robbie we, Smith's watching. Hi, we're doing, Robbie. We're doing this all for you guys. This is uh, hopefully so that you learn something uh, to relieve the boredom. Look at that, guys. I got uh, one today. Know, yeah, sharing excellent. and everything. And hopefully, you can pick up a few tips along the way uh, from myself and Jane. Uh, on cooking so today then we are on soups now somebody said to me uh, what do I like doing soups and sauces is my thing this is what I really like doing uh, in the kitchen is experimenting with different soups and sauces but I've got a couple of basic ones which you're going to do today which is carrot and coriander and uh, broccoli and blue cheese so here are my ingredients we've got some carrots garlic the obligatory vegetable stock cubes. Those who've watched before you'll, you'll see that I always use stock cubes. Onions, cheese, broccoli, cream underneath here and in the tin here we've got some fresh coriander. On the side here I've also got the olive oil, salt, peppers, mixed herbs and some bread. The bread we're going to make uh, some croutons and we're also going to do a little cheesy uh, soldier stack to go on the side okay so we're just going to get ready now I'm just going to light the oven hi Di, Diane's watching hi, hi Stephen Adair's watching hi Marty, Marty de Garmo we are his brother and sister from Marty, another mother how are you fantastic to see you on Marty always good Okay, so... Thanks again for all your pictures, guys. I've loads and loads of pictures over the weekend. It's been so nice. The uh, flamenco eggs was a big hit, right? A supper dish. So many people made that. Yeah. That was great. And Jamie, che Jamie Cheeks Mars, does this make you a superhero? We like that. <laughs> we like a play on words. Okay, so we, the first thing we're going to get on the go then is the carrot and coriander soup. Remember I said, when you're in a kitchen, the thing that takes the longest to cook is the thing that you start first. So we're going to go on the carrot and coriander because that's what's going to keep take us the longest period of time. Now I've got one kilo of carrots here. Um, I probably won't need to use absolutely all of them. Uh, this will do four people easily. Both the soups that I'm doing today will be able to freeze. Okay guys? So we're going to use 
four big carrots and we're going to uh, clean them up before we put them into the pan. Remember what I said, whenever you are peeling anything, okay, do it from the top to the bottom first. Don't, uh, don't take the top or the bottom off until you finish peeling. You got any more hellos there, Jane? Um, yeah, um, uh, they go up so fast, I miss them. I, I miss them a little bit. Yeah, give us a shout out what oh, country Tomo. you're in. Yeah, Tomo. Hi, Tomo. Tomo, how are you doing, man? It was so nice to speak to you on Friday, honey. We made our day. Yeah, um, I, I, yeah hope you got your, I hope you got the Rosa out today cooking with me, mate. Debbie Hughes is watching. Hey, tell Debbie. us, tell us, guys, where, where you're, you're from? from. What's your name? Where'd you come from? Yeah, what's your name? How's your mum? Oh, sorry, that's Morris. <laughs> Okay, so you clean up your carrots. Once you have peeled them, you take your top and the bottom off. Hi, okay. Wazza. Wazza's watching. Hey, Hi. Wazza, glad to see you feeling better, mate. <laughs> top and bottoms off. If you've got a stock pot on the go, you would uh, put the tops and bottoms into your stock pot, okay, for a vegetable stock. But nowadays, I just use the cubes. Okay, and the, anything in, roughly cut them into a pot. Uh, Susie Wallace is watching, and hey, Lucy Silver's back. Hi guys, hello, hello. Uh, can I just say a quick shout out while there's people on here, we've got a good following at the minute. Um, it's Rob's birthday everyone, and apparently- My he's, uncle. Yeah, it's Red's uncle, it's his mum's um, brother, he's 79 guys. Now the other day he made some bread. Now he couldn't get any um, English flour, so we used French flour. So we called it his, his ooh la la bread. We like that. And apparently the question was, what was the difference? And Red just seemed to think it was the strength. Yeah, Andrew, where are you? This is the first slug I've had. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so as you can see, roughly chopped up into the pan with the carrots. We're now gonna add to this, uh, one onion. Oh, that's really nice, that pate negra. Really good. Yeah, it's lovely. Go Tomo's on the own brew. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Needs... You think you're going a bit early on that, Tomo, because it looked a bit cloudy to me. It's not going to do your guts any good, mate. Okay, remember, top to tail. Okay, then nick off the bottom. Then the top, in half, and then rough dice, which means just to cut, cut across roughly. Yeah, we know Debbie, we know who you are. Your cakes are amazing. Debbie Hughes. Yeah, her cakes uh, are lives fantastic. Lives in Kibri Mortimer. If you want a, a birthday cake, gosh, hers are amazing. She's yeah. probably, you could probably find her on Facebook. Okay, so into that with the onions on top. Onto the heat, we're then gonna put a little bit of olive oil, okay, over to the top. And what I want to do here is just to sweat it off slightly, okay, before we get going. Hello, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Darren. Lid on that. Right, whilst that's way, working away, we shall then start getting the broccoli one together. With the broccoli one, we'll start with the onion, so peel an onion. Darren Nichols is watching. Hi, hey, Darren. Darren. Some hey. of your things on Facebook are so funny. Yeah. Good time to laugh, right? Because yeah, let's be definitely honest. Good laugh. Time to laugh at the moment. If because we weren't there's... laughing, right? What would we be doing? Yeah. Okay. Roughly chop up uh, one onion. Into the pan. I'm actually going to use a half onion more because that's not quite enough. Yeah. 
<coughs> Andrew Northcote. It's a good point, that Andrew. Does the wine help if your eyes are watering while you're chopping onions? Do you know something? I have no idea. Apparently, your eyes. There's so many different wives' tales and tricks uh, about uh, cutting onions. You meant to have. Some people say you you put something silver between your mat. Uh, your, and your lips to stop your eyes watering, some people oh, say yeah, that... having a teaspoon in your teaspoon mouth, that's in your one, mouth. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've heard uh, that. Some people say that uh, you should um, uh, do it sort of uh, further away from you. I think at the end of the day, it's all down to if you're susceptible to it, then you're going to uh, cop for it. Apparently contact lenses are good. Yeah, well, all glasses, they say the same, yeah. So again... Olive oil onto the top, and we'll get that on the go. Okay, so we're just getting this. All this is really is to start the process off. Yeah, the top tip comes out and if you run your onions under cold water, water. apparently that stops it. Yeah. <laughs> I've Thanks, heard Dad. that one as well. Okay. So into both we're going to put uh, one, uh, one stock cube and also one clove of garlic. This goes into both of them. Uh, yeah. Sister-in-law's watching. Hi, Emma. Hey, Emma. As these are all going to be blended soups, okay, it's not that important to make sure you cut everything up fantastically, okay, because we're going to use the blender at the end. If you were doing a soup that uh, required a bit more precise uh, cutting, for instance, if you had a consomme, then it would be a completely different kettle of fish. But for what we're doing today, we are just going to roughly chop everything up. Because, it, you know, the, this is what it's about really, is making life easier in a kitchen to produce something that's going to taste fresh and really awesome for yourselves and for the rest of your family. A little bit there, cut that off. So, into each one then, we're going to put in one stock cube. Okay. Just crumble it down. Same with this one as well. Crumble it down. Your garlic. Roughly chop that up. Those go into the pan. Give them a bit of a mix. We're then going to be putting in some mixed herbs into both. Roughly about a teaspoon. And at this stage, pepper only. And if you remember back, I said about salt, only put your salt in at the end, don't put it in at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to mix up. Next up then, we are going to be putting in the broccoli into this one. With the broccoli, this is actually way, way too much. We're going to use probably half of this. Okay, so take off your florets, including the stalk. We're going to use the stalk because this is a soup. So that'll be enough. And then chop these into your pan including the stalks 
Vicky Hills is watching. Hi Vicky. Hi Vicky. Again, it's only rough because this is going to get pureed down. <laughs> Claire Vance thought you said pepperoni when you said pepperoni. She had a panic. <laughs> <laughs> no, pepper only. Okay, let's get this in. Okay, all into the pup like that. So they've all sweated off and bounded together like this. Okay, we are now going to put the water onto this. So I boiled the kettle just to help me along the way uh, to make life a lot easier and to make it uh, a bit quicker. With the water, okay, you want to add the water so that it just covers whatever you've got in the pan, okay? You don't want to put any more in than that. So just till it covers the pan, give it all a stir. Okay, and that needs to be brought up to the boil. Same with the broccoli. Megan Finnegan, hello Hi honey. Megan, how, how are, are you? you? All the way from sunny Worcester. Again, just so it covers... Yeah, in both, the, Kevin. The broccoli. Cover the vegetables with the hot water, with both, yeah. Megan, I promise I'll do Red's Famous Roasties at some point. Okay, put the lid on. And bring that up. Right, we'll have a quick slug of wine. Did you put the oven on? The oven's on. Yeah. So when those are on the uh, boil now, those will take roughly about 15 minutes or so. Cheers everyone, by the way. Hope you're all keeping safe wherever you are in the world. I know there's people all over the world watching this at the moment. Uh, we, this is also going on to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, please pop over to, the, to it to have a look and to like and subscribe to it. It really helps us and it gives us a reason for doing this for you guys whilst we're on this lockdown, okay? So if you could pop over, like and subscribe, that would help us a lot. Cheers. So we are now Another quick Add mention to, to a picture, Jan Jeffries put a lovely coconut cake on. It was for her husband's 70th. They were supposed to be on a cruise in Australia, so that's gone by the wayside. So, and also, uh, Jenny Taylor's watching. Now, Jenny's doing this great thing. Red's going to explain what Jenny's doing. You can find Jenny, Jenny, Rob, uh, Jenny was Jenny Roberts, now Jenny Taylor, online. And what's Jenny doing, Red? Right, Jenny, is, she's a friend of ours and she has an online, online accountancy firm uh, that deal with small businesses uh, in the UK. She's set up a really good help page called Coronavirus 19 uh, Small Businesses. So if you look for Jenny Taylor online uh, or if you want her link, just message us underneath here and we'll get it to you or she could put it on as well, actually, that's fine. Uh, she is having a help um, line there for all small businesses in the UK to how to claim back any money that is owed to you to help from the UK government. So, and again, somebody else is going beyond, beyond and beyond, above and beyond, sorry, uh, to help you guys in these very difficult times. So go and check her out. If anybody wants us to mention a business or anything, that's that. we don't mind. We like saying hello. It's all about the chat. And yep. the banter, James Jess Gurney's watching. Hello. Jess Gurney. Hey, right, hello. Bl blast from the past. How are yeah, you, How are you, my friend? It's so nice. A lot of people are coming on here that we haven't spoken to in years. It's so nice that we're just old friends, old work colleagues, people we've employed. Just lots of people who, who to be fair, know how good a chef Red is. Allegedly. <laughs> well, we all know, really. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do two things here. We're going to do some croutons to go on top of the soups um, at the end. But we're also going to do some cheesy, um, uh, what they call soldiers. soldiers, that's the word. Some cheesy soldiers to go on the side for a bit of show. So we'll get the uh, cheesy soldiers on the go first. So any bread, 
doesn't really matter any old bread you got lying around you could be hard bread anything you like okay so we're going to do two lots like this so on the pan some olive oil into a pan we're just going to bring that up to temperature whilst that's waiting I'm going to cut up the other couple that I've got here to make some croutons now normally with croutons you should cut off the outsides just the crusts and the only reason you do this is so that when you are frying them off in the olive oil or oil all the colors are the same if you leave the crusts on you, they're brown already so they uh, won't look the same so what we're after here is having roughly speaking the same size croutons all the way across that's both ways if they're not it doesn't really matter to be honest it just looks a bit more pleasing <clears throat> to the eye our friends Jack and Ian have got their own little gem saloon up, up on the top of their amazing terrace amazing views oh, yes. they're close to them and it for obvious reasons but they promise us it will be open and be open with a bang when it's open. I'm going to look forward to that. Is yeah, that an me. invite, Ian? That's definitely an invite, yeah? Can we get there before Wazoo so I can have a cider? Okay, so that goes into there. I'm just going to leave that to one side. Next thing I want to do then is for the cheesy... Uh, for the cheesy uh, soldiers... Two soups on the rasp. Two soups on the go, all bubbling away nicely. More wine. Kevin Howe said, should he simmer the soup once it's boiled? Yeah, once it's once it comes up to boil, you're after, then you just turn it down so it ticks over, okay? And you want to simmer it. Oh, Simmer it, this will take about 15 minutes or so. Okay, so now the uh, bread's coming up, starting to fry off. Okay. So Wednesday, guys, Wednesday is uh, pâtés. We're got, gonna do two pâtés on Wednesday. We're gonna do a chicken liver and chorizo pâté with brandy. And we're also gonna do a red pepper and sun-dried tomato um, pâté. We're also gonna make up <laughs> an apple chutney to go on the side with it as well. Okay, so if you've got any old apples and some dried fruit, uh, that's all you really need. You'll need sugar, dried apples, dried apples, dried fruit, apples, and a little bit of vinegar. Okay, and I'll show you how to make up a chutney for that. The wine's called Pata Negra, yep. Debbie, okay? It's Pata Negra, it, obviously it's a Spanish one. Yeah, to be honest, 99% of the wine we drink here is Spanish because it's so good. And cheap. And Ian Deus is watching. Ah, oh, hi. Okay, nearly ready on that. So we're just after toasting both sides in a bit of olive oil for this. Claire Bance has added chilli flakes to her carrot and coriander that's soup. Fine. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Well, it Listen, works, isn't it? Oh, well, that's the wrong bit. I don't mean that. Oh, you don't mean that. I don't mean that. Well, he's, ma he's making the food, <laughs> making his food on alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Don't put the red wine in the croutons. <laughs> yeah, tip. Don't mix up your red wine with your olive oil. It's not a good plan. No, it's not. I don't put that there. It's smoking now. That's all right. That's good. Okay. okay, so we'll just do two of these, actually, because that's all I need. Dean Saunders. Hi, Dean. Dean, how are you? Say hello to Lisa for us. Dean, as soon as the uh, weather gets a little bit better here, we're going to do an alfresco day on the Barbie. So I know you'll want to tune into that one. Denise, 
Lee Smiles is laughing at you because you've just yeah, I know. made the croutons alcoholic. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry. That's the thing, you see, it's live and everybody, you know, it's just make, you know, ad hoc, isn't it? You know, some, it's not all perfect and that's the beauty about it all. You know, he's not Jamie Oliver. No, and that's another thing, you know, we're doing this. Uh, I, I did see that Jamie Oliver's doing a similar sort of thing on TV. And I bet he's getting paid an absolute fortune uh, to do it for all his uh, followers. We're doing this uh, to help you guys alleviate the boredom in your own home whilst this lockdown's on. And hopefully you can spread the word. The more people we get, uh, the more uh, it, it gives us reason to do it for a longer period of time. So please share the word about what we're doing. Got next week, we've got loads of good things coming up next week as well. Uh, the menu will be going out tomorrow uh, for next week, so you only have to go to the shops once. Okay, we are uh, having uh, homemade burgers we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a club sandwich. We're going to be doing a chicken and yoghurt dish with uh, Red's famous uh, cabbage that a lot of people know about already. Uh, we're going to be doing a pasta dish. We're going to be doing what else? We're we going to be doing, Jane. Um, your mum's chicken in yeah, yogurt. Yeah, Chick yogurt. Yeah, yeah, chicken in yogurt. A lot of these things people are sending us. We're getting so many uh, requests, but you have just bear in mind it has to be done in the time and it sort of we can't start putting things in the oven forever because you'd all get bored. This is true. And you'd all be really drunk while you're waiting. <laughs> or, or I might be, of course. Okay, so. We'll get that in the oven now. So this is going to be for the, your, your soldiers. Now, if you notice, I haven't put any cheese into the broccoli yet at all. Okay, the reason this is, is remember I said to you um, in one of the live videos, some, some things need to be cooked out. Okay, and some things you don't cook out because you want to hold the flavour. Well, when you're making broccoli in Stilton or broccoli in blue cheese, in this case we've got some Roquefort, you can use any blue cheese, it doesn't make, make any difference. You want to put that in last, right at the end, Okay, same as we haven't put the coriander into the uh, carrot and coriander at the moment, because you want to keep that flavour. It's a really integral part of the flavouring of the soup, so you stick that right in the end, Okay, so it has a more dramatic um, impact on the soup. So. A little bit of the blue cheese, just sprinkle it over the top here of both. You only want a little bit. And then any cheese you've got lying around, doesn't really matter. Okay, we're going to grate over the top. Hi Alison, hi now, Shirley. With these, with the with these with this bread. You could have toasted it, wouldn't made any difference really, or you can fry it like I've done. It doesn't really matter. And over the top of this, we are going to then sprinkle some mixed herbs. Okay, and then we're going to get that into the oven. <clears throat> okay, the croutons that we had before, we're going to now fry these off. Got a tray ready here, look, with a bit of kitchen roll on it. So we just have to toast in these off. If it soaks up all of the olive oil, just put a little bit more in. What temperature is the oven on, Red? Well, I've got mine on full whack. Okay, as high as it goes, but I use the layers of the um, oven for the different cooking. So I I'm, want to do this as quick as possible, so I've got it on the highest rung right at the back. But you, all you're after, as far as the um, toasty bits is concerned, is you're after melting the cheese on the top. Okay, So you can have it on as high as you, can, uh, as high as you want. So keep the croutons moving. You're after a nice even colour. Okay. 
they're just about ready. <laughs> James, it's a good point that actually James says, is that a technical term for whack? <laughs> <laughs> it is a technical term. To the croutons, a bit of salt and pepper. Give all that. We'll forgive you, Darren. Darren's late. We'll forgive you. A bit of a mix on the side, okay. Also, remember I said we're going to put some cream into both of them. Okay, this is optional, by the way, the cream. If you don't want to put cream into it, you can't, you don't have to. Uh, but for myself, uh, I want to because I, I think it gives it a, a nicer um, consistency at the end of it. Uh, but it is an optional thing, you don't have to put cream into it, okay? Again, that goes in right at the end, guys. Uh, I need the coriander. So whilst we're waiting then, the coriander, which is out of our garden, just going to chop this up. Again, roughly, like that, okay. That's going to go in right at the end. The other thing I'm going to get ready now is just a little bit of garnish. Garnish is something that you use to add to a dish right at the end when you are serving it, basically just to make it look good. I've got some chive stalks here. I'm just going to chop these up. I say Andrew Northcott, you know what I mean. Yes. Don't you? Sorry, on, Andrew. He's on it. He's on I'm, it. Uh, I'm just chopping, but I'm going to have some right now because it's lovely. Okay, put that to one side. I'm doing Andrew. Cheers, Chef. Cheers, Chef. Excellent. Right, quickly check on the. Hi Louise, Louise Thornton's watching again. Oh, hi Louise. Hi Louise. Is your mum watching Louise? She said she was going to come on as she is. Hi. Okay, okay, they're just about ready. You can see it's starting to go brown around the outside. That'll be about another minute for them. Blue cheese. That's that, that's that. Cream. And everything else is dandy. Okay. Hello Rosemary. Is that Rosemary Bethel? Yeah, she's back. Oh, hi, hi Rosemary. Rosemary. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but this is nearly ready for the broccoli. Uh, broccoli, okay. If you can, the stalk in it, if they, you can squash them down like this, that means that's ready to mix down. And obviously with the Carrot again, that's just about ready actually. Again, if you can squeeze them and they break down, they are then ready uh, to blend up. Uh, Ian Dyer says, can we do a sangria recipe? Now then guys, we've got, uh, maybe if we can organize it, we're trying to organize it. We've got a friend of ours who's a cocktail waiter and he's gonna do a short video on some various cocktails. We could get him to add yeah, sangria to I think, that. I think, he might, I think Jamie might be watching this now if he is. Uh, if you can add a sangria to your cocktail list, that would be great. Uh, yeah, we, he's gonna have a little guest slot for us, hopefully for Saturday night. Not quite sure whether he's gonna do a live or he's going to send a video in. But uh, just for you guys, because it is Saturday night afterwards, which is going out night, that means you can then go from the lounge to the kitchen and back, on, again. And back again on your going out night. Uh, the, the only difference is you'll be making a cocktail each time you go in and out, and then Jamie is going to put a, couple of, a video up for you how to make the going out cocktail of the lockdown. Or the staying in cocktail. Or the staying in. Well, the staying in's new going out, isn't it? Yeah. At the end of the day. <laughs> We're not going out, out. We're going to go in, in. <laughs> okay, so there you go. 
We're ready on the croutons, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take them off the tray. Yeah, I smell the um. Okay. Be careful when you're doing this, guys, because it's coming out of the oven and they will be very hot. So we're after soldiers. Just four soldiers, so we can do two and two. This looks really simple. It's almost a bit childish, but actually, the idea is it works and it's delicious with the soups, and who cares if it, you know, it works. We'll put those there. Okay, so on to the soups. We'll do the currant coriander now. So into the cori coriander, you want to put the, cori the coriander. Okay, and then we're going to, just going to go over here because this is where I'm going to blend. Sorry? Sorry, I'm trying to do it with the steam. It's No, it's fine. Right. It's just, we're steaming up a little bit. So, I've got my blender all ready. Okay. So consistency like it is quite thick all right if you're not putting cream in you'll need to add sorry if, if you're not putting sorry. cream in you'll have to add a little bit more water okay but for us because we're going to put this cream in here we're using if I can see how much of it it is this is I think this is 200 milliliters okay a full 200 milliliters okay. and this is cooking cream if you're in the UK, you'd use double cream. Uh, can you use a Nutribullet to blend, same difference? Yeah, but you just have to do it bit by bit. Obviously, if you've got a hand blender, it's easier because you've got... <laughs> okay, so... Let me just get a spoon so you can see the consistency of it. Okay. Don't forget, this is the time that we taste it. Okay. That is very nice. <laughs> okay, so that one's ready. Like I said, this will do four people easily, and you can freeze it or just leave it in the um, fridge to a later date. So I'm just going to put this back on here. You can have a look at it now, look, uh, so you can see. And you've turned the gas off. I've yeah. turned the gas off. I'm just going to put the lid on the top whilst we do the um, broccoli and Stilton here on the side. So to the broccoli and Stilton, now you add your cheese. Now I'm using some Roquefort, but you need one good slice. Any old bits of blue cheese that you have lying around, stick it in there. Hey, Corey Sunshine, how are you, lovely? Okay, over to the blender. watching oh, hi, hi, so again on this one if you have a look okay we've got a good consistency <clears throat> okay it's a little bit more watery than the other one but not much again we're going to add 200 milliliters of cream to it so if you're not adding cream you would add water it depends yes you'd, you'd add water a little bit more water to it 
Depends how thick you like your soups at the end of the day. Right. Okay. So. It's getting a bit like that, Nicola. What? <laughs> She's going to have a drink, Jane. I said it's getting a little bit like that. Again, remember, always taste. Nice, that's my favourite. I know so what I'm good. having for tea. Right, we'll put that on, turn everything off. Now we are going to get ready for service. Anybody got any questions before we finish so I can just run through them mm -hmm. for you? Mm -hmm. Uh, Jamie 2K says that's a great show. Good on you, cuz. Thank you very much, Jamie. Another good chef who's on, I'm glad to see. Uh, okay, so we're going to tray up now. And you can freeze these, yeah? These can all be frozen if you want them to. But I can assure you, after tasting them... There's not going to be much there left. There's not going to be much left. So, to the top, <clears throat> you're going to add some croutons like this. And then the crispy fingers, just going to put a couple on the side like this. You can toast these, you don't have to stick them in the oven. You can message us with any questions at any time, Darren, yeah. if you're making it and you're stuck. But the video will be on the Facebook and it will also be on our YouTube channel. So how long can you keep them in the fridge for? These will last up to five days in the fridge. Okay. Easily, easily. And here we have the carrot and coriander. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Again, croutons on the top, uh, okay, and a quick sprinkle over both with some chopped chives. Let's just move this over here so you can see them a little bit better. So there you have it. Broccoli and blue cheese soup with uh, cheesy fingers and a homemade corret corundi soup with cheesy fingers as well. That's it for today guys. Thank you very much for watching myself and the lovely Jane behind the camera. Hope you've enjoyed what we have pr produced for you and it gives you an idea of something to make for yourselves and your family. Like I said, uh, Wednesday we're doing pâtés chicken liver and chorizo or a vegetarian uh, red pepper and sun-dried tomato and both of them are going to have a side of uh, apple chutney okay that's it for me thank you very much for watching watch it once again if you are looking at this video on youtube please like and subscribe underneath and that would really help us to grow the community anyway that's it for me now if you've got any questions put it in the comments or come on to the facebook page and we can answer any of them that's it for now stay safe out there guys and cheers to all of you